Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through how to use ChatGPT to create amazing content for your real estate business, specifically creating high value, high education blog posts and turn those into YouTube video scripts. So I've been working with a bunch of my clients on this. Let me walk you through a very specific step-by-step -step process. So take note of the steps and let's get to work. Step number one, the one thing that I learned about ChatGPT that I found valuable for real estate agents was I had heard that they uploaded the whole database of Wikipedia data. So what I've learned about Wikipedia data is it has a lot of information about cities, neighborhoods, counties. It's got historical data. It's got all kinds of interesting data sets that I think is very useful for us as real estate professionals when creating kind of SEO content for blogs and or YouTube videos. So today, here's the step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to share your, my screen right now. You can see I've got an example up here of Vail, Colorado. One of my coaching clients is in Vail. And so the first step in understanding what does ChatGPT, i.e. Wikipedia, know about the city name, your city name. So go ahead and if you're following along, open at ChatGDP, ChatGPT, and I want you to just to type into the search bar, you know, either your geographic farm, your city name, or your county name, and I just want you to plug that in and hit enter, and you can see right here, it says, Vail, Colorado is a popular blah, 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 which is a nice little summary for uh, the city name. And then the second step was, okay, hey, ChatGPT, write five blog post titles for Vail, Colorado. And then boom, 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 I now have five really nice blog post titles that are a great start. So then I said, hey, can you write five blog post titles for real estate in the city name? And then bam, here's five great real estate titles. And so when I was talking to my coaching clients, I said, hey, pick one of those titles and let's get to work here. And he says, I really like that investing in Vail, why luxury skiing properties are a fi uh, smart financial move. And so then I went into chat GPT and I said, hey, create an SEO optimized blog post outline for this title. And I found that this next step of asking for an outline has been super valuable. Throwing in the keyword SEO, basically signaling, hey, write this in a way that is going to really work for a new client acquisition and for discovery. So then whammo, it takes this whole thing and writes, here's an introduction, right? And here are some market trends. Here's some financial benefits to investing in the luxury property. Tips for selecting the right ski property in Vail, right? Case studies of successful luxury property investments in Vail, ski risk and challenges of investing, and then the conclusion. So, wow, we got a great outline for an amazing blog post. So then the next step was I took, just to show an example of this to my great client, I said, let's just take one example. So what did I write? Can you write an example for the introduction? So I just took a copy paste of this introduction right here, and then I just said, can you write an example of this? And then I just pasted the intro those notes right there. And then here we are, boom, introduction. And then it just wrote it all out for me wonderful okay so let's stop there for one second leave any comments down below if you have any questions about this happy to answer them in some of the comments for you guys what i've learned about chat gpt basically most ai today is they're just doing data scraping of information that's readily available on the lot uh, online i.e wikipedia and then they're just using some natural languaging things like i use grammarly all the time um, you, you guys are probably noticing in you know your your microsoft uh, outlook or your google uh, email is there's a lot of kind of support these days to write appropriate grammar. So you can see that the AI is using a lot of these great tools to help us write better. And then they're scraping all that information off the web and they're just integrating the two things and giving you a really nice head start in this process. So what I immediately told my great client who is a an expert in 
all things Vail, Vail Lifestyle, Vail Real Estate. And I said, hey, please be aware that the technical details may be completely off, but that's okay. That's where your customization kicks in. So we can take this from an AI generated uh, piece of content to an AI generated plus expert local advice content to make this something that is now unique and something that is now will be perceived as valuable. And also we don't want to be flagged by maybe the Google um, spiders as saying this is just pure um, you know, AI generated content with no uniqueness from the local expert. So my friends, we're not losing our jobs here in this particular arena. What we're doing is we're just getting 60 to 75% of the way there really quickly. And then we need to sprinkle in that final 20, 30 to 40% of that expert local advice to turn it into something magical. Okay, so that addresses that issue. So let's get back to the process to help us. So then I said, hey, can you turn this blog post title into a YouTube video script? And then I just posted the title. And then whammo, it created a really nice, thorough YouTube video script. Okay, so let's go back and let's just review the steps again independently. I just a, number one, I just put in the name of the city just to see what it knew. It had some good data. Then I said, write me flat five blog post titles. Write me a blog post title for real estate. Then I said, take one of those titles and write a blog post outline. Whammo. Then I went in and I can take each chunks of those blog post uh, sections and I can say, could you please write this for me and then it'll give me a really nice rich paragraph and so i can have a probably a 2000 word blog post that is you know 60 percent of the way done and you customize it the final you know 100 percent and then i can also take that and turn it into a youtube video script that you can go ahead and just plug right in to your uh, green script i'm sorry into your teleprompter app and you can have an amazingly high quality YouTube video educational video blog right away. So my friends, I love this strategy for you know creating high quality educational content for your, your YouTube channel, high quality educational content for your blog post and your website. So let's have some fun. Let's create some great content. Let's make sure that it is custom. It has your local expertise flavor. And let's get to work, my friends. Let me know down below if you have any questions about how to use ChatGPT for real estate agents or if you want me to cover any topics on this. All right, my friends, let's get after it. We'll see you on the next video.